So we stopped at Daughter Zion wrote Psalm 71. Yeah. In the do I put Lord, do I put my trust? Let me never be put to confusion. Her brother, Solomon, is the one who wrote Psalm 72. Asaph wrote Psalm 73. Asaph wrote Psalm 74. Asaph wrote Psalm 75 and Psalm 76. Psalm 77 and Psalm 78. Now, Psalm 79, Asaph wrote, and Psalms 80 and Psalms 81. And he wrote Psalms 82, 83, and Daughter Zion wrote Psalms 84. The Sons of Korah wrote Psalms 85. King David wrote Psalms 86. The sons of Korah wrote Psalms 87. Daughter Zion wrote Psalms 88. Now it gets into her a lot. Psalms 89. God is great is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints. And this is where in, in Psalms 89 she talks about she's blessing her dad in the Psalms. Forgive me, it went back to 89, um, 88. I made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant. Thy seed will I establish forever and build up the th thy throne to all generations. Selah. So she wrote Psalms 89. Now she, Moses, who brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, he wrote Psalms 90. Daughter Zion wrote Psalms 91, Psalms 92, Psalms 93. Psalms 94. O God, to whom vengeance belongs. O God, to whom vengeance belongs, show thyself. So all these Psalms where you say, the Lord reigns, he is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he has gritted himself. The world also established that it cannot be moved. She wrote that about God. And she wrote this, Psalms 92. It is a good thing. And she wrote Psalms 91. Everyone's favorite protection prayer. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, right? So, so she wrote all 90, 91, 92, 93. I mean, ni yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, 93, 94, 95, 96. Let us sing on to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise unto the Lord of the rock of my salvation. That's why it's always telling her to rejoice and sing to God because she's always singing to her father. And Psalms 96, she wrote Psalms. Then what does it say in Psalm 96? Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. She wrote Psalms 97. She wrote Psalms 98. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and for he has done marvelously. And what she talk about in Psalms 97, it says, Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the soul of his saints. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. So a lot of people, they try to discredit her. These Psalms have no name on it. You're going to see. She wrote so many. In the 90s, they don't have any name on it. And in the beginning of 100s, she wrote Psalms 97, Psalms 98. Sing on, oh, sing on to the Lord a new psalm, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm has gotten him the victory. All right, God, has, she has wrote Psalms 99. The Lord reigns, let the people tremble. He sits between the cherubims, let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, talking about herself, and he is high above all the people. She wrote Psalms 100, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, the Lord all you heard. That's why I saw his saying, telling her to rejoice and sing. King David wrote Psalms 101. She wrote Psalms 102 that has no name on it. She was even talking about herself. He says, Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come unto thee. Hide not thy face from me in the day when I'm in trouble. Incline thy air unto me in the day when I call answer me speedily. And then she talks about herself when she's like, 
13, thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her, yeah, the set time is come. For thy servants take pleasure in her stones and favor the dust thereof. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and the kings of glory, kings of the earth for thy glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. All right, he will. She wrote Psalms 102. She wrote Psalms 103. No, sorry, King David wrote Psalms 103. She wrote Psalms 104. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. She wrote that as well. She wrote Psalms 105. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. When, when Psalms 105 also, she says, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And then she talks about uh, Joseph. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, whose feet they hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron until the time that his word came. The word of the Lord tried him. All right, so she's the daughter Zion wrote Psalms 105, saying, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. She wrote Psalms 106. She wrote, Praise, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. This is a good prayer. All of them, all her prayers are good. Who, which, which he remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations and even in her psalms 107 it talks about he sent his word and healed them she's the one who said that he he sent his word and healed them psalms were in psalms 105 but in, she wrote psalms 107 as well she wrote psalms 106 106 she wrote this psalm she wrote psalms 107 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them out of their destruction. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, who he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. King David wrote Psalms 108 and Psalms 109. He did write this prayer talking about, he wrote it. And King David wrote Psalms 110. Daughter Zion wrote Psalms 111, this one. Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the con in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out all of them that have pleasure therein. She wrote Psalms 112. She wrote Psalms 100, 112, where it says, My heart is fixed, O Lord. His heart is established. Be not afraid until he sees his desires upon his enemy. And when she says the desires of the wicked... The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desires of the wicked shall perish. So daughter Zion wrote Psalms 112. She wrote Psalms 113. Psalms 114. She wrote Psalms 114. Um, did I say that already? Sorry, I was just, it's my computer froze. She wrote Psalms 115. He will be mindful of us. He will bless us. I don't know. My computer just froze. Okay, there it goes. Um, not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name. Give thanks and glory. There's a lot of good things that she says in her Psalms. She wrote Psalms 115. She wrote Psalms 116. She wrote Psalms 117. She wrote Psalms 118. This is a good psalms to break free from spiritual warfare um, and chains. All nations come past me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They come past me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. The Lord is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. Most of her songs were turned into songs. Psalms 119, she didn't write this. Psalms 1, 119 and 17 to 23, her brother wrote that. 
Psalms 121. Daughter Zion wrote Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord which made the heavens and earth. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth even forevermore. The Lord is thy keeper. Um, okay, she wrote Psalms 121 and Psalms 120. King David wrote Psalms 122. Daughter Zion wrote Psalms 123. Daughter Zion wrote... Oh. So, um, King David wrote Psalms 124. Daughter of Zion wrote Psalms 125. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. Daughter of Zion wrote one Psalms 126. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreameth. Um, Daughter of Zion wrote Psalms 127. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain. That build it, except the Lord keep the city the watchman watches in vain so she's also the one who says wisdom about talking about wisdom I'll, I'll get back to it so she also wrote psalms 127 and psalms 128 blessed is everyone that fears the lord that walks in his ways you see these psalms have no name they just say songs of decree she wrote Psalms 129. She wrote Psalms 100. In the um, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. She's the one who wrote that as, as well. So Psalms 129 she wrote, and Psalms 130, Daughter Zion wrote. You can highlight them. Psalms 131, King David wrote. Psalms 132, Daughter Zion wrote. That's why it says a song of decree. It doesn't have any name. It says, Lord, remember David and all his affliction, how he swear unto the Lord. He was just talking about her dad. King David wrote Psalms 133. Daughter Zion wrote Psalms 134. Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye his servants, the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. And the Lord that made heaven and earth bless thee out of zion daughter zion wrote psalms 135 all right it's a good prayer all of them her dad's prayer all of the psalms are good psalms 136 daughter zion wrote psalms 136 she wrote psalms 137 for his mercy endures forever. So this is the controversy why the nations didn't like her because of her Psalms 137. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, yeah, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For they, for there they that carried us away captive required of us a song. That they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. She was talking about how they are mocking her to sing her songs. And she says, how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? And she says, if I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. Not to forget her homeland, where she came from. And Psalms 38, King David wrote that. Psalms 39, King David wrote Psalms 39. Psalms 140, King David wrote Psalms 140. Psalms 141, King David wrote Psalms 142. Psalms 143. Now it's all is Zion. Um, oh, he wrote Psalms 145. Daughter Zion wrote Psalms 146. Daughter Zion that's what she's always talking about singing unto God. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the sons of men, in whom there is no help. She wrote Psalms 146 and Psalms 147. And Psalms 147. 148 but look in what she says 
why the Bible is always telling her to sing. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant and praise is calmly. That's why she's called a calmly and delicate woman. The Lord does build up Jerusalem. He gathers together all outcasts of Israel. He heals the broken in heart and binds up their wounds. Now, Psalms 148, daughter Zion wrote, and the last psalm in the Bible she wrote, the first shall be last and the last shall be first, right? So Psalms 148, praise ye the Lord. Praise him all ye his hosts. She wrote Psalms 148 and Jonah, who was in the whale's belly, he wrote Psalms 149. And I love this part, the precept 149 and, and 7. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. To execute upon them the judgments written. But this is the part I like. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. So, and daughter Zion wrote the last Psalms that's in the Bible, Psalms 150. Praise ye the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in all the firmaments of his power. Okay? Praise him with the sound of a trumpet, praise him with the psalmistry and harp, praise him with the timbrel and dance, praise him with string instruments and or organs, praise him upon the loud cymbals, praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. So, I, you can take this up and Psalms 89 you, is she wrote it as well thou has broken Rahab in pieces as one that is slain thou has scattered thy enemies with thy strong arm that's why she's called the strong arm of the Lord that's why Isaiah says Isaiah 51 and 9 awake awake put on strength O arm of the Lord awake as in ancient days in the generations of old are thou not it that has caught Rahab and wounded the dragon. That's why it says in Psalms 91, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. The young lion and dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because she did that. She's the arm of the Lord. And she's talking about the arm of the Lord in Psalms 89 and 10. Then it says in Psalms 89 and 13, Thou has a mighty arm, strong as thy hand. And high is thy right hand. She has the arm of the Lord. Her arm is anointed. Do you get it? Put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake. Aren't you who cut Rahab in pieces and wounded the dragon? So the rivers of Babylon made her hated by the nations. And where she talked about, over Edom shall he kick out his shoe. So you can take this up with fasting. And I lost like three subscribers because of the truth that I'm telling, but it's only because they won't fast and pray and ask God theirself. I can't make this up.